Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. I am coming to you live from the gym here at Boston Trinity Academy in Boston, Massachusetts. Here to bring you live coverage of today's high school varsity boys basketball contest courtesy of the Massachusetts Bay Independent League. Today's contest pits the visiting Griffins of the Cambridge School of Weston against the hosting Boston Trinity Academy Lions. So you can see on the screen here, we've got the BTA Lions warming up in their signature green jerseys. CSW's team in their locker room, we're waiting for them to come out. As you can see on the scoreboard cam in the bottom left corner of your screen, we got a little over six minutes before this game is set to tip off. So with that in mind, first, just a simple reminder, if you uh, enjoy, uh, if you end up enjoying this live stream, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel where you can stay up to date on all my upcoming live streams. I got one more game uh, currently booked on the, uh, on the docket for BTA Boys Basketball. Uh, later this season against uh, Cats Academy. And then once the postseason comes, who knows? I mean, that schedule's uh, not lined up yet. It's just a matter of, you know, whether or not uh, a team books me and all that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. And then if there's anything you would like to say, I encourage you to say it in the live chat. Uh, it could be as simple as, uh, you know, go BTA, go Lions, or even go CSW if you're a CSW fan tuning in. Um, you can shout out your favorite player, um, or you can comment on the action going on in the game, what you think of the game so far. Uh, or if you notice any technical difficulties, this is my first time streaming here uh, at the BTA gym. Um, so if there are any technical difficulties you notice, either with the video or the audio, uh, then I encourage you to let me know in the live chat. And also, since this is my first time covering both teams, if you notice me flubbing someone's name pronunciation-wise, again, I encourage you to let me know in the live chat. I want to give these student-athletes the best coverage I possibly can. But with that in mind, we've got our two teams out here and about four and a half minutes left, so let's take a look at the rosters for today's contestants. Let's start over here with the visitors on our left, wearing the white jerseys with blue jersey numbers, the Cambridge School of Weston Griffins. Going in order of jersey number for CSW, first we have number five, Elijah Helsinger. Next, we have number 10, Warren Wang. Number 12, Alex Poliak. Number 13, Rafi Nelson. Number 14, Hassan Sanders. Number 15, Ian Brassard. Number 20, Ben Adelson. Number 23, Andy Simmons. Number 24, Torin Osinar. Number 25, Dingja Xiao. Number 30, Noah Bird. Number 32, Beckett Ledal. Number 37, Derek Yang. Number 41, Siki Wang. And number 45, Miles Terry. So that is the roster for the CSW Griffins. Now let's move over to the right, over to the boys in green, fittingly as the Dropkick Murphys are playing. I just think it's kind of thematic. Let's go over the roster for the home team, Boston Trinity Academy Lions. First off, going in order of jersey number again, we have a freshman, number zero, Henry Marchioni. Next up, a senior, number one, Caleb Pucci. A junior, number two, Gabe Glover. A junior, number three, Welby Perez Valera. A freshman, number four, Benjamin Desiree. A freshman, number five, Ezai Morristine. A senior, number 13, Philip Dos Santos. 
a senior, number 14, Luke Hodge. A freshman, number 15, Alexios Mamalakis. A freshman, number 21, Kyle Cameron Martin. An eighth grader, number 30, Moses Long. And finally, a junior, number 32, Daniel Rondon. Head coach of the Boston Trinity Academy boys basketball team is Davis Franklin. So that is the roster for the home team, the BTA Lions. And as you can see from the scoreboard clock, we got about a minute 15 left before we're set to tip off. This should be a good one. Once again, thank you for tuning in here for this game today. My name is Jesse Mayfield Sheehan, and I'm happy to bring you live coverage of today's Massachusetts Bay Independent League Boys Basketball Contest. The two teams heading to their respective benches. We'll soon see the starters come out onto the floor, and we'll have our opening tip-off here in the first half. We play two 16-minute halves in this league. So fewer breaks in between periods. So if you're going to play in this league, you've got to be ready to run. Once again, remember, if you enjoy this live stream, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my upcoming live streams. And if you got anything to say, whether it's rooting for your favorite team, shouting out your favorite player, uh, alerting me to many, any technical difficulties I might not notice, or if you notice me flubbing the pronunciation of someone's name, or if you just want to let us know where you're tuning in from, that's always fun to hear on these online live streams. Any reason, I encourage you to post it in the live chat. But here we go, the two teams coming out onto the floor. Looks like BTA is going to come out with a starting lineup of Caleb Pucci, uh, Gabe Glover, Welby Perez Valera, uh, Ezai Morristine, and Luke Hodge. For CSW, I see number 32, Beckett Ledal. I see number 10, Warren Wang. I see number 15, Ian Brassard. I see number 45, Miles Terry, and number 12, Alex Poliak. So those are our starting lineups. we got 16 minutes on the clock here for the first half. Lions against Griffins, BTA versus CSW. Jump ball is going to be between Hodge and Ledal. And here we go. The tip is collected by Terry for CSW. Swings it over to Ladal. Ladal runs in. Misses the layup. Rebound by Terry. Put back. No good. Rebound collected by Morristine. Azai Morristine running with it. Crosses up. Steps in. How on earth did he hit that one? Morristine with multiple guys draped over him. Banks that one in for the first basket of the game. Lions lead by two. Passes, swung over to Poliak, now to the corner to Terry. Terry sends it up top, Wang running in, bounces a pass over for Poliak, ripped away by Pucci. Caleb Pucci running with it, picks up his dribble, sends it up top to Morristine. Morristine swings it over to Glover, and we've got a whistle, looks like someone stepped out of bounds. We've got our first substitution early. Caleb Pucci subbing out for number zero, Henry Marcioni. Inbound goes to Warren Wang. Wang bringing it up. Swings it over to number 15, Ian Brassard. Brassard looking around pass, intercepted. That's Morristine. Floats it up to Perez Valera, goes for three. No good, nice rebound by Marcioni. Marcioni gives it over to Hodge on the wing. Long pass across finds Morristine. Morristine pulls up from the wing. Short rebound, scrummed for, and ultimately won by Poliak. Still 2 nothing. 
Wang dribbling with it. Gives it over to Broussard. Now over to the corner to Ladal. Ladal dribbles in, kicks it out to Terry. Terry's got a lane, runs in. Awkward angle on the layup, no good. Rebound Morrisdean. Morrisdean chucks it up for Glover to the hole for two. Gabe Glover with his first bucket of the day. Lions now lead by four. Pass over to Terry. Terry holding it on the wing, gives it to the corner to Poliak. Poliak dribbling across, passes out to Ladal, swung across to Wang. Wang unloads from three, hits it. Warren Wang with our first bucket from downtown. It's now a one point game. Bringing it up is Welby Perez Valera. Val Perez Valera around the pick, fires from the top, no good. Rebound by Terry. Bringing it up now is Brassard. Brassard looking around, swings it over to Ladal on the wing. Ladal dribbling in, kicks out to the corner to Terry. Terry fires from the corner, hits it! Back-to-back -back threes from the Griffins. And just like that, the visitors have taken the lead. This is Glover giving it over to Morristine. Morristine stepping in, mid-range jumper, and he hits it! Azai Morristine doesn't care if a defender's in his face. He's hit a couple of tough shots, and he's got four so far. Now sent over to the corner, Terry fires again. No good this time. Rebound by Hodge and given to Perez Valera. Swung over to Morristine on the wing. Morristine passes across to Glover. Glover starts to drive, goes up, blocked from behind by Poliak. Poliak running with it in transition. Kicks it out to Brassard. Brassard steps in, mid-range, hits it. An eight to two run so far for the Griffins. Glover runs in, kicks it out, Perez Valera for three. Big three from Welby, Perez Valera to break the momentum there and give the lead back to the Lions. Brassard passes to Wang. Wang gives it back to Brassard. Brassard swings it over to Terry. Terry runs in, too crowded, knocked loose, recovered by Hodge. Good help defense from Marchione. Morristine bringing it up. Holding it on the wing, gives it over to Perez Valera. Now to Glover, Glover driving, stops, bounce pass, juggled but recovered by Marchione. Now given over to Hodge, up top to Perez Valera. Long three, no good. Rebound, saved by Marchione but nobody was there to recover it. It's taken by Terry. Now given over to Poliak who awkwardly gives it to Wang. Wang dribbling, lost control but recovered and got the pass to Broussard. Broussard. On the left wing, goes around a pick, gets trapped, gives it over to Ladal. Ladal runs in for an easy layup. Back at Ladal with his first points of the day. Now Glover bringing it up. 10 to nine, the CSW lead. Perez Valera running in, floater, no good. Rebound by Ladal. Pass given over to Wang. Wang patiently bringing it up. Pass to Brassard. Broussard from the wing, throws it down low to Ladal. Ladal back and down, turns around, hook. No good on the bounce, but he gets his own rebound. Put back is good. Beckett Ladal with four quick points. The Griffins now lead by three. Morristine over to Perez Valera and back to Morristine. Around a pick. Given over to the corner to Glover. Glover dribbling in, kicks it out. Hodge along two, hits it. Luke Hodge with his first points. And it's now a one point game once again. Brassard over to Poliak. Poliak dribbling across, going in, kicks it out to Ladal. Ladal kicks it out to Terry. Terry runs in, gets swarmed, throws it out to Brassard. Juggled, somehow saves it to Poliak. Poliak running the baseline, kicks it out to Ladal. Steps in, bounce pass, back to Poliak for two. How about the ball movement from CSW on that play as they now go up by three? and a timeout is called by BTA. So far for CSW leading the way in scoring is Beckett Ladal with four. Warren Wang and Miles Terry have three each. Alex Poliak and Ian Brassard each have two. For Boston Trinity, Isai Morristine leading the way with four points. Welby Perez Valera with three. Gabe Glover and Luke Hodge with two apiece. We've got some action in the live chat. 
Busanov, 47, number five is a baller. How did he make that shot? I, I am questioning that myself, and honestly, you can ask that good question for either of the shots he's made so far, as Morris Thien has put together a good effort so far, but it looks like we're gonna have a full rotation substitution for BTA. Inbounding now is number 21, Kyle Cameron Martin, sends it in to Caleb Pucci. Pucci bringing up the ball, goes around a pick. Ball is poked loose, last touched by CSW as that was knocked out by Wang. Inbound to number 15, Alexios Mamalakis. Now over to the eighth grader, number 30, Moses Long. Now back to Martin. Martin starts to drive, pulls up from the stripe and hits it. Pretty shot from the free throw line by Kyle Cameron Martin. And BTA answers immediately out of the timeout. Wang passes over to Terry. Terry driving in from the wing, goes for the layup and hits it. Miles Terry now with five today. Pucci bringing it up. Pucci looking for options, manages to get a pass to Martin. Martin dribbling across, resets, gives it over to Mamalakis. Mamalakis gives it back to Martin. Martin fakes, steps back, steps back in, kicks it out. Pucci for three, off the mark. And last touched by Terry. So that will stay with the Lions. Substitution checking in for CSW, replacing Alex Poliak is number 24, Torin Osinar. Sixteen, thirteen. the score in favor of the Griffins. Quick inbound to Long, corner three, hits it! The eighth grader making noise off the bench as he ties this one up at 16. Wang pokes loose, this is Pucci, off to the races, stops, pulls up, gets the rim roll. From the eighth grader to the senior, the Lions with a quick 5-0 run to take back the lead. Pass is disrupted and not cleanly. That's going to be our first foul of the game. Took us almost seven minutes to get our first foul. That one going against Kyle Cameron Martin, his first personal first team foul, and he now checks out in favor of Isai Morristine. Inbound to Wang. Wang looking around, dribbles around a pick, drives inside, quick pass to Ladal, and Ladal lays it in. Beckett Ladal now with a game high, six points. Morris Thien bringing it up, steps in, kicks it out, Pucci fires for three, no good. Rebound is tipped but recovered by Wang. Wang passes it up to Terry. Terry drives, passes, finds Osinar. Osinar dribbling across, kicks it out to number 30, Noah Bird, who sends it up top to Wang. Down low, knocked away by Long, recovered by Pucci, lost the ball, and it is barely recovered, and a traveling call against Daniel Rondon, which was weird. I thought, if anything, that was going to be a foul against CSW, but... Instead, the officials call travel, and we've got another timeout call. All squared at 18 apiece with eight and a half left here in the first half. Leading all scores so far is Beckett Ladal for CSW. He's got six. Miles Terry not far behind with five. Warren Wang with uh, three, and Alex Poliak and Ian Brassard with two each. For BTA, very big spread of points. Four from Isai Morristine, three from Welby Perez Valera and Moses Long, and then two each from Caleb Pucci, Gabe Glover, Luke Hodge, and Kyle Cameron Martin. Out of the timeout, it is CSW ball. Inbound goes to Wang. Wang bringing it up, passes over to Terry. Terry gives it back to Wang. Wang looking around, steps in. Oh, he tra I think he traveled, or, or was that a three second? No, it looks like they called an offensive foul against CSW. I'm, I'm a bit confused, but whatever. 
Pucci sends a pass over to Long, handed off to Morristine. Morristine dribbling, lost his handles, but picked him back up and resets the play. Round a pick, starts drive in, kicks it out. Long for another three. No good, and it bounces off the top of the backboard. That will give the ball back to the Griffins. Warren Wang bringing it up. Looking around. He finally gives it to Terry. Terry throws it down low to Ladal. Ladal turns around, layup no good. Rebound, scrumped for and ultimately collected by Hodge. Morristine running with it in transition. Dribbling from the wing, steps in, spins, hits traffic, kicks it out. Long three attempt. Almost banks in, but no good. Rebound collected by Long. Long gets a pass out to Hodge. Up top to Pucci as they reset. Pucci dribbling back and down, getting swarmed. Somehow turns around, fires a desperate shot. Almost got a crazy rim roll there, but no good. Terry running in transition now. Runs the baseline, hard collision, and that's going to be a blocking foul against Morristine. Or... No, they didn't call any foul at all. All clean. Or did they? No, they called the foul on Terry. It appears, based on the scoreboard, they called an offensive foul on Terry for that play. And so BTA takes it back. Pucci bringing it up for the Lions. Still tied at 18. Holding the ball, looking around. He needs a pass option. Gives it over to Gabe Glover, who's back in the game. Glover drives, bounce pass, misses Morristine. That's the trouble with passing through those tight windows is not only is it harder to get the pass through, but it's harder for the receiver of the pass to see the ball coming. Wang bringing it up. Gives it over to Terry, but just out of his reach. One turnover for, no for another here. BTA takes the ball back, still tied at 18, 6.51 on the clock here in the first half. Glover bringing it up, gives it over to Pucci. Pucci gives it to Welby Perez Valera. Long three attempt, oh! Welby Perez Valera with his second tray of the day and he sent that one from way downtown. Big bucket there and BTA goes up by three. Wang gets across half court, looking around for a passing option, gives it ultimately to number 30, handed off to Terry. Terry chucks a pass to Poliak in the corner, up top to Wang, down low, blocked by Glover and recovered by Hodge. Glover now bringing it up. Dribbling across mid-range from Glover, hits it. That one almost looked like he might have gotten fouled, but he still hit the shot anyway. The Lions starting to find some form here as Wang passes it over to Poliak. Poliak dribbling pass, intercepted. Morristine running the floor to the hoop for two and one. The Lions with a quick 7-0 run after a long string of no scores tied at 18. It is now a big 25-18 lead with the potential of making it 26. And we got some subs checking in for CSW. Number 15, Ian Brassard. And number 41, Siki Wang. And off on the free throw. It's tapped out of bounds. Last touch by BTA. So Morristine cannot complete the three-point play, but he is now tied with Ledal and Perez Valera for the highest scoring output so far today. Pick and roll play to Ledal. Misses the layup, rebound Morristine. Morristine chucks the pass just out of reach of Perez Valera, and that gives it back to the Griffins. But how about the hops on Morristine on that rebound? I mean, Ledal's got a good couple of inches on him. And he still went up for that rebound. Wang around a pick, looking for the roll. Couldn't collect it cleanly. Knocks loose. Perez Valera comes away with it. Goes up for the layup. Welby Perez Valera. 
bringing the defensive hustle there to rip that ball away, keep with it, and get the fast break layup. Wang passes over to Broussard. Broussard steps in, running the baseline, looking around, gives it out to Poliak. Poliak resets around the pick, weaving through, passes down low to Ladal for two. Beckett Ladal now with eight points. BTA moving quickly, Glover holding it in the corner. Resets up top to Morristein. Swung over to Perez Valera, does he have another three? No, rebound tipped, last touched by Hodge. Marchioni checking back into the game for BTA, replacing Morristein. And for CSW, number 30, Noah Bird comes back in, replacing Beckett Ladal. And we got a timeout called. 4.36 on the clock here in the first half, and BTA built a bit of a cushion here. Uh, in the live chat from Ryan Matos, Welby is a absolute baller. And couldn't agree more with what he's done so far. Eight points tied for the lead for either team. The only one matching his total so far being Beckett Ladal for the Griffins. And that also includes two three-pointers, which is the highest number of long-range baskets of anyone so far today. We've seen a few different people hit shots from downtown, but only one player has hit more than one three-pointer so far, and that is Welby Perez Valera. Out of the timeout, BTA leads by seven with four and a half left here in the first half. Wang bringing it up. Passes over to Brassard. Brassard swings it over to Poliak. Poliak over to Bird. Bird for three. Hits it. Noah Bird comes in and hits a big three to cut it down to a four-point game. Glover around a pick. He fires from three. No good. Rebound by Hodge. Hodge looking around. He's getting swarmed, and that's a jump ball forced by Wang. Possession arrow does go to the Lions. Pucci inbounds to Perez Valera. Up top to Glover. Glover sees a lane, drives in. Left-hander for the lay-in. Glover now with six today. Brassard dribbling up top. Swings it over to Poliak. Poliak from the left, stepping in, kicks it out to Siki Wang, and he travels. And we got a sub checking in. Miles Terry returns to the floor, replacing Siki Wang. And what on earth? Uh, looks like CSW was trying to make another substitution, but it was a little too late. And so they're gonna have to wait for the next dead ball. In the meantime, Glover bringing it up for the Lions, swings a pass over to Pucci. Pucci throws one over to Perez Valera. Perez Valera from the wing, around a pick, steps back, fires, no good. Rebound, one by Glover. Glover gives it out to Marcioni, swung across to Pucci. Pucci fires from deep, no good. Rebound is gonna go out of bounds. And now checking in for the Griffins is Beckett Ladal. He replaces Noah Bird. Three and a half on the clock here in the first half. Warren Wang throws it up to Terry. Terry had the ball ripped away, but not cleanly. That foul is going to go against Pucci. That'll be his first personal, team's second. And with that, Pucci will check out for Isaiah Morristine. Just five fouls between the two teams so far in the first half. Poliak throws one up, tipped out of bounds by Glover. Okay. 
Now Wang looking for the inbound. Manages to get it into Poliak. Poliak fakes, runs across, knocked loose by Perez Valera and off the ricochet. It's taken by Glover, pass, thrown up, knocked away. Oh, he didn't need to save that one. And looks like it's out of all that craziness, it's BTA ball. I'm not even sure. <laughs> I definitely fell behind on the narration there as that ball was flying every which way. The result is Marchioni inbounds to Perez Valera. Perez Valera around a pick, step back, three from the top, no good, rebound, one by Hodge. Throws it out, deflected out of bounds by Brassard. Luke Hodge starting to really fight for those offensive boards down low. And Morristine inbounds to Perez Valera. Perez Valera gives it over to Morristine. Now given to Glover, Glover around the pick, weaves in, left-hander again, no good this time, rebound Hodge, Hodge no good on the putback, but draws the foul. Another offensive board from Luke Hodge. And now the senior goes to the line for two, as that foul is called against Beckett Ladal, his second team's fourth. First free throw is good. And I don't think those were boos. I think that was Luke as he hits the first. Subbing back in is Noah Bird for CSW, replacing Beckett Ladal. Second free throw. He hits them both. Wang, long pass up to Terry. Terry gives it out to Poliak. Poliak holding it on the wing. Gives it to Terry. Terry throws it up top to Wang. Swung across to Brassard. Brassard running in. Kicks out to the corner to Wang. Fakes, runs the baseline. Floater hits it. Warren Wang now with five today. And it's a six-point game. Glover dribbling with it. Swings it over to the wing to Morristine. Morristine unloads, hits it! Isai Morristine dialing long distance and he's now got nine. Give and go to Terry down low for two. A nice play between Terry and I believe Bird on that give and go. Terry's now got seven. Perez Valera driving in, he's got a lane left. Hander hits it! Perez Valera, the first player to hit double figures today. He's now got 10. Pass over to Poliak. Poliak looking. Passes to Brassard. Brassard up top to Terry. Terry over to Bird. Bird dribbling across. Gives it to Wang. Wang looking around. Gets a pass to Bird. Down low. Deflected by Glover. Recovered by Poliak. He tried to get a quick pass to Terry, but Terry was cutting. And that's going to be out of bounds. A minute 18 on the clock, and we've got a mass of substitutions coming in for BTA. Number one, Caleb Pucci. Number 32, Daniel Rondon. Number 30, Moses Long. And number 15, Alexios Mamalakis. The only one staying on the floor is Morris Thien. And Pucci tries to go through the legs. Too fancy there, and it's stolen away by Brassard. Brassard dribbling. Manages to get it to Terry, very close to the sideline, but he stays in bounds. Dribbles around and carries. Yeah, can't, can't get under the ball like that. And so the ball will go back to BTA. 36-27 the score, 57 seconds even on the clock here in the first half. Inbound to Marchioni. Marchioni picks up his dribble, gives it to Morristine. Morristine hands off to Long. Long over to Marchioni. Marchioni looking around, throws down low, somehow caught by Long, but Long was falling out of bounds and he just threw it away. So Poliak takes it, gives it to Wang. Wang around a pick, fakes, gives it to Poliak, corner three, no good, rebound one by Terry. Terry holding it in the corner. 
Throws it up top to Wang. Wang fires from three. No good. Rebound by Ladal. Ladal, the putback, no good. Gets his own rebound. Put back again, hits it, and the foul. Beckett Ladal now with 10, and he's going to the line for one more. Not sure who that foul was called against, as they're not showing it on the scoreboard, but that is the third team foul. Maybe since they're still showing 32, maybe it was the second foul for uh, Rondon. Apologies for the shaking of the scoreboard cam. We got feet stomping out here in the bleachers. The end one, banks in. Ladal's now got 11. And we got a sub checking in. Ladal is being replaced by Torin Osinar. 15.5 seconds. And they're going to roll this one in. And Perez Valera picks it up. Pass gets to Marchioni. Now over to Morristine. Morristine fakes, steps around the pick, drives in. Quick pass. Now outside. Perez Valera. No good. In and out. Rebound tip taken by Marcioni goes for the putback. No good, unlucky rim roll. And that is going to end the first half. A couple of in and out shots to end it, but we are now at halftime. The score at half, the Boston Trinity Academy Lions 36, the Cambridge School of Weston Griffins 30. Point totals so far. For BTA, leading the way is Welby Perez Valera, the junior with 10 points so far. And then Isaiah Morristine impressing as a freshman with nine points in the first half. Gabe Glover, another junior, has six. Luke Hodge, the senior, has four. Moses Long, the eighth grader, with three points so far. And then Caleb Pucci, a senior, and Kyle Cameron Martin, a freshman, each with two points to round it out. For CSW, leading all scorers is Beckett Ledal with 11. Miles Terry has seven. Warren Wang has five. Noah Bird with three. And Alex Poliak and Ian Brassard with two points apiece. In the live chat, we see a comment from Thelma Hairston. OK, Glover, auntie watching. I'm assuming that refers to Gabe Glover, who had himself a pretty solid first half with six points. And I'm sure he's happy you're tuning in. Remember, once again, if you're enjoying this live stream, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my upcoming live streams. I'll have at least one more uh, BTA game this season when they take on Cats Academy later on this winter. And then, you know, possibly... Some playoff games, we'll see how the bookings shake out and how the schedules shake out. So stay tuned for that. And then, of course, you know, keep the good vibes going in the live chat. Happy to see people shouting out their favorite players in the live chat. But for now, it is halftime. I'll be taking a brief break off the mic. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan, live from the gym here at Boston Trinity Academy. And I'll be back with the second half of this ball game. Stay tuned.
Hello again, everybody. Back on the mic, I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan coming to you live from the gym here at Boston Trinity Academy in Boston, Massachusetts. Here to bring you the second half of this Massachusetts Bay Independent League High School Varsity Boys Basketball Contest between the Boston Trinity Academy Lions and the Cambridge School of Weston Griffins. <clears throat> Lions with a six point lead after the first half. Led by 10 points from Welby Perez Valera and nine from Azai Morristine. <clears throat> CSW not far behind, led by 11 points from Beckett Ladal and seven from Miles Terry. <clears throat> And it will be Terry inbounding to start the second half. He sends it into Warren Wang. Here we go. 16 minutes left in this one. As Wang gives it over to Terry. Terry gives it over to Ian Brassard. Brassard around a pick. Throws down low for Ladal and gets tangled up with Gabe Glover. And that's going to be a jump ball possession arrow to the Lions. Glover bringing it up after the nice defensive hustle on that last play. Looking around, kicks it out to Morristine. Morristine driving in, going up for two, draws the foul. And so that foul will be against Beckett Ladal. That's his third personal first team foul. Morristine at the line, shooting two. And he hits the first. Morristine, now the third player today to reach double figures, joining his teammate, Welby Perez Valera, with 10. While Ledal, the guy who fouled him, has 11. And no good off the front rim. Noah Bird manages to save that one to number 23, Andy Simmons, who is seeing the floor for the first time. And now Warren Wang brings it up, throws it up to Terry. Terry dribbles in, now gives it out to Broussard. Broussard running the baseline, fires an awkward shot, no good. Rebound collected by Perez Valera. Perez Valera throws it up to Caleb Pucci. Pucci fakes, steps in, gets trapped, kicks it out to Perez Valera. Corner three, no good. Rebound bouncing along, it's deflected out of bounds. Last touched by BTA. <clears throat> Credit to Luke Hodge for hustling again for the offensive board, even if it didn't work out that time. He started to really come alive down in the offensive post late in the first half. Wang bringing it up for the Griffins. Throws a pass, it's deflected by Perez Valera, saved in bounds by Terry and it's thrown to Wang who steps in, kicks it out to Bird. Bird runs the baseline, throws it down low, turning around to Simmons, no good on the shot. Rebound collected by Hodge, gives it to Perez Valera, long throw up to Glover. Glover running the baseline, throws a pass that goes off Broussard and out of bounds. Pucci looking for the inbound, throws it into Morristine, who sends it up top to Glover. Glover dribbling across, steps back, long two, hits it. Gabe Glover now with eight points today, and BTA leads by nine. Wang around a pick, gives it over to Bird. Bird throws it down low to Simmons. Simmons tries to shoot through the trap, can't do it. Nice rebound collection by Glover, manages to keep it in bounds to throw a pass, but it's juggled and lost, and it's Still lost, but somehow recovered by Wang. Now Broussard running in, kicks it out to Terry. Terry fake, steps in, long two, hits it. Miles Terry now with the nine. A long pass is deflected out of bounds by Simmons. Morristine was trying to find Perez Valera on that play. And now Morristine checks out for Henry Marchioni. Perez Valera bringing it up. Around a pick, drives, floater, 
No good. Rebound collected by Simmons. Now Wang bringing it up for CSW. Around a pick. Looking, gives it to Bird. Down low to Simmons, and Simmons lays it in. Took a few tries, but now Andy Simmons with his first points of the day. The lead is down to five. Glover around a pick. He's got space. Fires for three. No good. But the rebound bounces right to Pucci. And Pucci draws a quick foul against Torin Osinar. That'll be Osinar's first personal, second team foul. And now we got another substitution. The eighth grader coming back on the floor for BTA, Moses Long, replaces Welby Perez Valera. Pucci inbounds to Glover. Glover running the baseline, looking around, pass across to Hodge. Hodge for the jumper, no good. Rebound by Bird. Wang. Running with it, gives it over to Bird. Bird to the corner to Osinar, inside to Simmons, but it's poked loose by Glover, recovered by Hodge. Long pass up to Glover. He collects it, but has to pass it out to Long. Long sends it up top to Pucci as BTA resets. Pucci around a pick, gives it to Glover. Glover around a pick, runs in, floater, no good, but draws another foul. That foul called against Andy Simmons, his first personal third team foul. Glover at the line for two. And misses the first. Subbing in for CSW is number 12, Alex Poliak. He replaces Torin Osinar. Second free throw, unlucky rim roll, but recovered by Long, passed out to Marchione, who just barely fends off Terry and gets a pass up top to Glover. Glover driving in again, layup, no good, and no foul call, rebound collected by Simmons. Terry gives it to Wang, picks up the dribble, throws it to Bird on the wing. Bird steps in, throws down low to Terry. Terry turns around and hits it. Miles Terry now with 11. Tied with Ladal for the team lead. Glover running the baseline, throws it out of reach of Long. And a couple subs coming in for BTA. Isai Morristine and Welby Perez Valera return to the floor, replacing Henry Marchione and Gabe Glover. Thirty-nine, thirty-six. Wang around a pick passes to Terry. Terry running in, lost the ball. It's going to stay with CSW as that one was knocked out by Pucci. Wang looking for the inbound, finds an open Simmons for two. Nice off-ball movement by Andy Simmons. He's now got four today, and it is a one-point game. Long three attempt from Perez Valera. Now that's a momentum killer. Clutch basket from the junior, Welby Perez Valera. He's now got 13 points today. Terry throws down low, deflected. Morris Dean somehow saves it off Simmons' body. The hustle from the freshman. Perez Valera and Morristine immediately making an impact upon returning to the floor. And now Perez Valera bringing it up, swings it over to Long. Long gives it to Pucci. Pucci finds a lane, drives in, hits the layup. Caleb Pucci now with four today. And just like that, the Lions back up by six. Wang looking around, gives it to Poliak. Now over to Bird. Bird's pass deflected out of bounds by Hodge. Wang looking around for the inbound, throws it again to an open Simmons. 
Andy Simmons seems to have a knack for sneaking through those backdoor cuts on inbounds as he's gotten two layups off of that. And a timeout called by BTA as they, uh, Coach Davis Franklin certainly knows they have to adjust defensively to that because they'll go back to that well all game long if they want. 10.59 on the clock, 44 to 40, the BTA lead. Welby Perez Valera leading all scores with 13 points so far. Isaiah Morristine not far behind with 10. Gabe Glover with eight. Four points each from Caleb Pucci and Luke Hodge. Three points from Moses Long and two from Kyle Cameron Martin. That is the scoring for BTA. For CSW, 11 points each from Beckett Ladal and Miles Terry. Six points from Andy Simmons all in the second half after he didn't play at all in the first half. Warren Wang with five points, Noah Bird with three, Alex Poliak and Ian Brassard with two apiece. And in a live chat from Alex Moger, number five's name uh, is pronounced easy. Well, easy enough. Morristine hands it off to Glover. Glover to Perez Valera. Oh, but this ball is ripped away by Wang. Perez Valera lost the handles and Wang took advantage. Poliak throws it to Bird. Bird looking around, throws it down low to Ladal. Ladal kicks it out to Terry. Terry running in, no shot, but a defensive foul called against BTA. That's gonna go against Caleb Pucci. That is his second personal first team foul. Here's the inbound. Throws it into Ladal and immediately ripped away by Glover. Good defensive adjustment, it's thrown up to Morristine. Morristine resets from the wing, fakes, drives in, layup, hits it, and one! Easy, Morristine. Now with 12 points, Morristine will go to the line for one more. No good, rebound tipped and recovered by Terry. Wang now bringing it up, BTA leads by six. Wang dribbling, gives it to Bird. Bird unloads from three, no good, rebound by Ladal, but poked loose and taken by Perez. Valera, but he lost track of it, out of bounds. Lover checking to see how slippery that spot on the court is. But now this will be an inbound for CSW. Wang throws it into Bird and he is blocked by Hodge and it will stay with the Griffins. Wang looking around, gets a pass into Ladal who tries to no look it to Wang. Does not work. Glover now bringing it up. Lions lead by six. Glover drives in, running floater, no good. Rebound scrum for one by Ladal, stolen back by Glover. Glover is smothered and a timeout is called by BTA. <clears throat> good hustle by Glover off of his own shot there. I'll tell you, the one thing that I've been so consistently impressed with with some of BTA's players is their ability to identify driving lanes. I mean, just most recently we saw that basket by Easy Morristine as it, he made it look like he was stepping back to reset the play, but then he noticed that his defender was starting to slack off just a little bit because he thought he was resetting, identified that, 
zoomed around him and had a lane to the hoop for two, plus the foul. And we've been seeing, we've been seeing that court awareness in spades from guys like Morris Thien and Perez Valera and Glover all day long. And it's part of the reason that they are the three leading scorers for BTA here today. Pucci inbounds to Morris Thien out of the timeout. Morris Thien crosses up, gives it out to the corner to Pucci. Pucci fakes and travels. And checking back in for BTA is number 30, Moses Long, replacing Caleb Pucci. Long inbound to Terry. Terry back to Wang. BTA bringing a press. Pass to Terry, now up to Bird. Now throws it up. Couldn't be collected by Ladal. So while CSW did get across half court, the press still worked in spades for the Lions. as that extra hastiness on those passes resulted in a turnover. Glover bringing it up. Pass to Morristine. Handoff to Long. Long gives it to Perez Valera. Perez Valera driving in. Left-hander, no good. Awkward on the angle, but he recovers his own rebound off the ricochet. Now gives it over to Glover as BTA resets around a pick. Gets trapped, dribbles out of it, kicks it out. Perez Valera for three, hits it! 16 points for Welby Perez Valera. And the Lions are back up by nine. Poliak finds an open Liddell. Liddell tries to pass one through to Simmons, but it's knocked loose. Scramble for the ball, it's out of bounds. And it goes to BTA. Great defensive hustle from both Hodge and Morris Thien on that play. Glover gives it to Morris Thien. Morris Thien travels. Substitution for BTA. Caleb Pucci coming in, replacing Easy Morristine. Terry throws it in to Poliak, throws it down low to an open Ladal. Ladal shakes off the defender and lays it in. Ladal with his first points of the second half. He's now got 13 today. Glover driving in, layup, no good. Rebound, kept in bounds. Glover saved it to Perez Valera. Now sent up top to Pucci. Pucci around a pick, fires, no good. Rebound by Poliak. Wang gives it over to Poliak. Poliak looking around, throws a pass, knocked away from Simmons, and that's gonna be CSW ball off the deflection from Glover. Morristine back on the floor, replacing Moses Long. 7.57 left in this game. Lions lead by seven. Inbound to Simmons. Throws down low to Liddell, and a foul is called on BTA. The Griffins just abusing those backdoor moves and finding open looks again and again. Long checks in, replacing Pucci. As that foul was called against Pucci, that's his third personal team second. Wang looking around, inbounds to Ladal. Ladal steps in, layup no good, rebound Perez Valera. Perez Valera from the wing, steps in, hits traffic, kicks it out. Morris Thien, the long three, no good, rebound tipped by Long, recovered by Glover, but lost control of it, taken by Simmons. Simmons slows things down and gives it to Wang. Now up to Terry. Terry starting to bring some speed, runs in. Can't get the bank, rebound by Morristine, knocked away. Simmons tried to save it, Glover throws it up, and a layup on the fast break out of nowhere by Perez Valera. And now the, Terry trying to dribble through the press, gets through it, Ladal throws it down low to Simmons. Simmons lost the ball. 
again, if your defense can force the opponent to just be a little more hasty with the passes, sometimes that's all it takes. Off that layup, Welby Perez Valera with 18 so far today. Long pass up to who else? Perez Valera, no good on the three. A rebound by Poliak. Wang passes to Poliak. Poliak from the wing. Floats it over to Wang. Wang fakes, steps in, fakes again, throws it to the corner to Ladal. Ladal tries running and he travels. Luke Hodge stood tall on that defense along the baseline and he forced the turnover. Lions lead by nine, less than seven minutes left. Glover fakes, steps in, mid-range hits it. Excellent fake going the opposite direction of the pick and Gabe Glover has just hit double figures. BTA bringing the press, they get it up to Terry. Terry running in for the layup, no good. Rebound Ladal, Ladal smothered. Gets a pass out to Simmons. His shot no good. Rebound collected by Long. Passed up to Morristine. Morristine holding it on the wing. His team leads by 11. The first double digit lead of the night. Morristine drives in. Lost the ball. Knocked away. Taken by Terry. Quick passing up to Poliak. Poliak running. Fast break layup. No good. Rebound by Glover. Glover. Long pass up to Perez Valera. Fakes. Steps in. Hits it. Perez Valera has 20. The Euro step for the 20 burger for Welby Perez Valera. And now the Lions with a comfortable 13 point lead with less than six minutes left. I mean, basketball's a game of runs, momentum can change in a heartbeat, but the biggest lead of the night in what has been a very back and forth contest, although BTA has held the lead for pretty much all of it, or for at least the majority of the game, and the entirety of the second half. But for most of it, the Griffins have been right on their heels, and now the Lions really hitting a hot streak here. Uh, the score at one point was 44 to 40, and the Lions have since gone on an 11 to 2 run. And again, Welby Perez Valera just taking over. 20 points from the junior to lead all scorers here today. Inbound to Wang, back to Terry. Terry battling the press. Perez Valera bringing the pressure, but he gets the pass away to Wang. Wang across to Terry. Terry chucks it up for Siki Wang. Just barely recovers it, gets a pass out to Osinar. Mid-range jumper, no good. Rebound ripped away by Terry. Hits the bucket and the foul. So the shot is good from Miles Terry. They haven't updated the scoreboard yet. There's the update. And the foul is called against Luke Hodge, his first personal third team foul. Miles Terry now with 13 points at the line for one more. No good. Rebound is tipped up in the air, taken by Terry, pass to Ladal. Now over to Wang, Wang for the tray, no good. Rebound collected by Perez Valera. Glover running with it, gives to Perez Valera, fires for three, no good. 
Rebound bouncing into open space taken by Morristine. Morristine sees a lane, drives in. No shot, but it will be a defensive foul. That foul called against number 41, CQ Wang. His first personal fifth team foul. Morristein looking for the inbound, throws it all the way back to Glover. Glover around a pick, crosses up, steps in, lost the ball, taken by Ladal, given to Wang. Warren Wang running with it, throws it, and Osinar was not ready for that one as he just ducked. Was not looking and then all of a sudden turned his head and the ball was flying right at his face. After the turnover, Caleb Pucci returns to the floor for BTA, as does, I think, Moses Long. Perez Valera dribbling up top, gives it over to Morristine. Morristine hands it off to Long. Long's got some space, fires from the top, no good. Rebound collected by Warren Wang and he's gonna draw a foul on that one. Substitution for CSW number 15. Ian Brassard checks into the game, replacing Torin Osinar. Four forty on the clock. Fifty-five forty-four. The Lions lead the Griffins. Inbound to Ladal, quick pass to Wang. Now over to Terry, long pass knocked out of bounds by Hodge. Terry looking for the inbound, throws it down to Ladal. Keeps the handles, but he's got to find a pass. Gets it to Warren Wang. Wang drives in. Awkward layup, no good. And the rebound knocked out of bounds by Ladal. It'll be BTA ball. Morristine bringing it up. Drives, layup, no good on the rim roll. Rebound juggled but collected by CQ Wang. Now given to Warren Wang, now over to Terry. Terry from the wing, crosses up, steps in. Layup is good. Terry now with 15 points. Perez Valera decides to pull up from the top. No good, rebound by Terry. Terry gets it to Warren Wang. Wang around to pick, and that's going to be an illegal pick against Ladal. And that will be Beckett Ladal's fourth personal foul and CSW's sixth foul of the half. One more foul from the Griffins and BTA will be shooting the bonus. Morristine just holding it up top. Now attacks, gives it to Hodge, back out to Morristine. Morristine sends it up top to Pucci. Pucci gives it out to Perez Valera. Perez Valera fires from three. This one he sinks. 23 points now for Welby Perez Valera. The Lions now up by 12 with just over three minutes left. Warren Wang looking around, gets it to Brassard, and Brassard travels. Inbound goes to Morristine. Morristine. Hands off to Pucci. Pucci swings it over to Perez Valera. Now given to Hodge. 
Hodge hands it off to Perez Valera, who gets trapped in the corner, throws it up top to Glover. Glover drives in, lost the ball, stolen by Miles Terry. Terry running with it, carries. So a tough missed opportunity for the Griffins as the Lions take it back. Glover gives to Morristine. Morristine fires. No good. Rebound tipped. And it's a jump ball. Possession arrow to the Griffins. As that is the second time, I believe, between Glover and Ladal this half they've been forced to go to a jump ball. So this time it will go to CSW. Inbound to Warren Wang, given to Terry. Terry throws it to Simmons. Simmons throws it up to Ladal. Throw his hands. Tries to save it, but the save is collected by Glover and a hard collision, and he somehow gets it away to Hodge. Hodge tries to chuck it, blocked by Terry, but Hodge recovers it and manages to pass up to Morristine, who brings it across half court. Morristine driving in, lefty layup, no good. Rebound tipped, collected by Simmons. Simmons manages to get a pass to Warren Wang. Wang. Looking around, gives it out to Ladal. Ladal gets stuffed and passes it up top to Wang. Wang manages to pass out of the trap to Broussard, who throws it to the corner. Too high for Terry, and that'll be a turnover. 1.55 left here in the second half. Inbound goes to Glover. Less than two minutes left. Lions lead by 12. Pass over to Perez Valera. Now given to Morristine, steps in, long two, no good. And Simmons manages to collect the rebound and get it to Wang. Now to Broussard. Broussard driving, Euro steps, layup, hits it. Ian Broussard with his first points of the second half. He's now got four points. Glover trying to escape the press defense, gets it to Morristine. Morristine. Manages to get it up to Pucci, who sends it to Perez Valera in the corner. Perez Valera dribbling, gets trapped, quickly passes out to Pucci. Pucci sends it back up top to Morristine. BTA holding the ball, killing clock. Morristine around the pick, finds a lane, drives in, hits the layup. Silky smooth from Easy Morristine, and he's now got 14 today. Brassard passes up to Simmons, up to Terry. Terry running in, awkward layup, no good. Rebound, out of bounds, last touched by Glover, and it will stay with the Griffins. And we got a timeout called by CSW with 47.2 seconds left in the second half, and the home team leading by 12. Welby Perez Valera leading all scores today with 23 points. Easy Morristine with 14. Gabe Glover with 10. Caleb Pucci and Luke Hodge with four apiece. Moses Long with three and Kyle Cameron Martin with two. For CSW, Miles Terry with 15. Beckett Ladal with 13. Andy Simmons with six. Warren Wang with five. Ian Brassard with four, Noah Bird with three, Alex Poliak with two. Now in the final minute of this game, Ladal looking, gets an inbound to Simmons. Simmons poked loose by Glover, it ricochets, almost collected by Perez Valera, instead it's collected by Wang, thrown down low to an open Ladal for two. Ladal now with 15. Perez Valera throws it up to Glover. Glover fakes the guy out of his shoes, but then the ball is poked away. Given back to Ladal. Throws it out to Brassard. Brassard runs in. Shot. No good. Rebound. Ladal. Ladal wrestles it away. His pass intercepted by Pucci. Poked away from him. Recovered by Perez Valera. And given to Glover. 15 seconds left, and BTA is just going to dribble this one out. But first, a shot fired, except not because it's traveling. Mamalakis wanted to get in on the fun, but uh, no dice there. 
9.3 seconds left. BTA up by 10. Siki Wang checking back into the game for CSW replacing Warren Wang. Inbound. Wang bringing it up. Five seconds left. Pass to Broussard. Down low to Ladal. Ladal looking around. Finally decides to shoot. No good. And that's going to be the final buzzer. The final score. The Boston Trinity Academy Lions 60. The Cambridge School of Weston Griffins 50. Final scoring stats for the night. Welby Perez Valera leading all scorers. The junior had 23 tonight. Easy Morris Thien, the freshman, second on BTA's list with 14 points. Gabe Glover, the junior, with 10 points. Seniors Caleb Pucci and Luke Hodge with four points each. Moses Long, the eighth grade representative, with three points. And freshman Kyle Cameron Martin with two. For CSW, Beckett Liddall and Miles Terry finished with 15 points each to lead the Griffins. Andy Simmons had six. Warren Wang had five. Ian Brassard had four. Noah Bird had three. And Alex Poliak had two. That's going to do it for this broadcast. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. If you enjoyed this live stream, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my upcoming live streams. Uh, and uh, if there's anything you'd like to say, you can say it in the comment section down below. Also, check out the bottom right corner of your screen where you'll see the URL to my personal website, jessesports.com. You can find out more about me, the freelance sports casting services that I provide, and how you can commission those services for your favorite team or player. Directly below that is my email address, jgms88 at gmail.com. If you want to just contact me directly with any questions or requests you may have, and then below that is the URL to my Instagram account, instagram.com slash jgms88. Follow me on Instagram where I post highlights from previous live streams. But that is going to do it from Boston Trinity Academy in Boston, Massachusetts. The final score, BTA 60, CSW 50. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. Thank you all for watching and have a good night.